Nigel family is a girl marvelous reporting from the western part of Nigeria. So in this video is captioned, you will win only if you can do this. There are things you need to do for you to win in the purpose of life. There are things, there are rules, there are principles that guide life. When you follow these principles of life and begin to follow the rules of life the way it is, you will see yourself winning in every battle of life. Because the word of God is God himself. When God says something, it means God is saying his mind to his children. And that is why it's good for you as a child of God to always read the word of God. Anytime you are reading the word of God, it means you want to know the mind of the master concerning your life as his child. You want to know what is my God saying today concerning me? What and what did God want me to do today concerning my life? Anytime you go to the word of God to search, to read, you, are, you want to search, you want to discover what is the will of God for me today. So as you wait patiently to know the mind of God for you concerning how you will win in every battles of life, be patient and you will see the hand of God in your life. In this channel, we share the word of God. In this channel, we teach you and we show you the way of Christ. How you can live your life for God and how God can do what? Can visit you when you do the things he said he should do. And you will see God show himself in your life. Before we move, let's go to the word of God because we need to search the word of God to know what God is saying concerning our life. He said he will win. You will win if only you can do this. There are things to do. Let's go to the word of God. Follow me patiently. Now let's go to the book of Luke chapter 10 from verse 27. And it says like this. It says, And he answering said, Thou shalt love the Lord your God with all your heart. Thou shalt love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength and with all your might and thy neighbor as thyself. This is the word of God. He said, and he answering and said, thou shalt love the Lord your God with all your heart. Thou shalt love the Lord your God with all your soul. Thou shalt love the Lord your God with all thy might, with all thy strength, and thou shalt love your neighbor as yourself. Have you seen it? You will win only if you can do this. If you want to win in the battles of life, you have to love the Lord your God with all your heart. If you want to succeed in this life, if you want to live the life you want, because the Bible say, it said, all these things shall be added unto you. What did he say? Seek first the kingdom of God and all these things. God knows that you are in need of so many things in your life, but there are things you need to do first for these things to be added to you. There are things you need to do. There are things you need to do. You cannot just dabble into prosperity. You cannot just begin to soar in life. There are rules in life. There are principles of life. So you will win only if you can love the Lord your God with all your heart. You will win only if you serve God with all your strength. You will win only if you, you will love the Lord your God with all your heart. Then you will love your neighbor as yourself. You cannot begin to love your neighbor if you don't love God. And you cannot love God without loving your neighbor. Because humans are the God you're seeing. So before you to succeed in this life, for you to make it, for you to win in everything you do, for you to win in the in the day-to-day -day activities of your life, for you to win in the battles of life, for you to win and succeed in this life, you have to love the Lord your God with all your strength. You have to love the Lord your God with all your might. You have to love the Lord your God with all your power. You have to do what? Love your neighbor as yourself. Now let me ask you a question. Do you really love God with all your heart? God knows your heart. God sees your heart. Did you really love God? Do you really love God with all your strength? Do you love God with all your heart? Do you love God with all your might? Are you loving your neighbor as yourself? 
if you want to make it in life, if you want to succeed in the journey of your life, if you want to live longer in this age, if you want to succeed, if you want to be free from the family bondage, from the family chains, from the family causes, from the things that are taking you backwards in life, you have to do what? Loving God first. Put God first in your life. If you want to succeed, if you want to make it, if you want to be liberated, if you want to gain that de de deliverance you're seeking for, if you want God to visit you in that situation, if you want God to heal you, if you want God to give you that you have, you have to do what? Love God with all your strength. Love God with all your might. Love God in your heart. Let God be in your heart. Let God be in the center of your heart. Don't just love God because of what you want. Don't love God because you need something. Some people, when they will go to church, it's because they have a need. Because there is something they want from God. And that is why they are going to God. And let me tell you, before God can give you anything, God will know the motive behind what you're doing. You can, if you, even if you will deceive a man, you can't deceive God. You can't deceive God. God knows your heart. God knows what is in your mind. God knows what is in your heart. Let your heart be clean. In everything you are looking for in this life, God will know the motive be behind it before you can answer your prayers. So let your motives in everything be positive. Let your motive be right. If your motive is not right, God will not answer you. That is why some people are not, their prayers are not being answered today. It's not because God hates them, because their motive behind that thing is wrong. Some people need money to go and make sure. Some need money because they want to go and tell the neighbor, yes, I can do it. Some what you want is because you want to go and brag. And when God now begins to see that motive in your heart, he will not give you that thing. Not because God hates you, but because your motive is wrong. If you if you're if you're asking God for anything and the motive is right, God doesn't have any issue, He will give you your blessing. So if you want to win, really want to win in this life, please have this in mind. Love God with all your heart. Love God with all your power. Love God with all your might. Love God with all your strength. Go back to this scripture. Luke chapter 10 verse 27. Read it meditatively. Read it with understanding. Read it prayerfully. Let the Spirit of God interpret this word to you. When the Spirit of God interprets it to you, you will understand it very well. Meditate on this word and know what is your motive behind that thing you are looking for. If your motive is not right, please make it right so that your answer to prayers will come quickly. If you really want to win, please change your motive behind everything you want. If you really want God to answer you, if you want to win in this battle of life, if you really want to win, change your motive behind everything you are looking for in this life. Be it prayer, be it anything from any man. Change your motive so that that thing you are looking for will be granted unto you. Love your neighbor as yourself. Love your neighbor as yourself. If you know what you will do to somebody and it will pain that person, if they do it to you, if you accept it, then go and do it. Anything you know that you cannot accept, don't do it to another person. That is loving your neighbor as yourself. If I will pinch myself and it will pain me, why am I pinching my neighbor? Whatever you know that if somebody do to you, you will not be happy. Don't do it to another person. That is what they say, love your neighbor as yourself. When you go and do all those things, just be rest assured that you will surely win in everything you're looking for. Because God will see your heart, will search your heart, and he will answer you. If you love this video and you love what you see and the message, please do well to hit the like button of this video. If you find it very interesting, you can share to your friends and your well-wishers, your neighbors. Then if you have anything you learn from this video, you can put it up in the comment section. Then if you have not, if you have seen me for the first time, you've not followed us on this channel, please do well to subscribe to this channel to the glory of God. And remember to always uh, press the bell button. Anytime I upload a new video, you can be notified. I upload video almost every week. So that each time you see the notification, you will come and watch because there will be something that God will say on that day. As you do so, God bless you. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video. God bless you.